<laughs> Welcome to Corny Creek Farms! <laughs> Dave McDonald here once again for another edition of Saturday Morning How to Draw Cartoons, pre recorded live from Corny Creek Farms! <laughs> pre recorded live. That's comedy. <laughs> it doesn't cost you any extra either. Just for that one. Hey, it's another mashup day! Special effects! Special effects! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do some more mashups. We're just having so much fun with them. We're gonna create another wacky character. <laughs> New sound effect. How about that? No extra charge for that either. Sound effects department's been beefed up. <laughs> if only I could get a new pencil or pen. Nope, sound effects is taking it all up. <laughs> no, it's going to be a great day here today. We're going to draw something real silly, but before we do, I wanted to share last week's drawing. The baseball bat, which I've colored. Remember this guy? Another, another fun mashup? Baseball bat. <laughs> now that's comedy, right? The baseball bat. I had fun coloring him, and I pulled out another one from Oh, I don't know, a couple weeks, a few weeks back, and I colored that one as well. I had a lot of fun with this one. Remember this? The ice gator. <laughs> the ice gator, get it? <laughs> Another funny one. Ring the bell. Ice gator. Yep. It's another fun day, and I'm ready to go. I hope you are. You got a piece of paper and a pencil. That's all we're going to need. Maybe an ink pen if you like to add ink like I do at the end. All right, so today's mashup is going to be just plain silly. And when I mean just plain silly, I mean it's going to be a combination of a plane and a donut. It's just a plain donut. <laughs> Get it? Plain donut? <laughs> It's going to be flying across the sky. <laughs> oh my, we're having too much fun here. This shouldn't even be allowed. All right, here we go. A donut is a circle. So start with a circle. And we'll put it, we'll make our donut nice and big. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. All right, and again, I draw, I tend to draw a little bit lighter because I want to erase my pencil lines later. But if you're just going to use a pencil, you can go a little darker and just make your pen your uh, penciled circle. All right, the donut has a hole in the middle. We'll make a hole for the donut. It's a plain donut, so there's nothing on it. So that's basically the donut. Now, to make it a plane, we need some wings and a tail. So let's see. The wing, let's do this. Put yourself a curved line right there below the hole of the donut. All right, now we have to make some lines that come out this way. So we make a straight line that comes this way and another straight line that comes this way and what we want to do maybe is just kind of round it off at the corner there and meet the straight line for that wing and on the other side hmm will we see that wing yeah we probably would so through the hole we're going to see part of this other wing so put a straight line here. Put your pencil on the side of the donut. Straight line going out. And I don't know how much of that wing we would see. But let's maybe say that's about as far as we'll go. And then they meet right about there. Oh, he's tilting maybe a little bit. <laughs> he must be tilting, right? Otherwise the wing would be way down here. He's... Uh, doing some aerial maneuvers right all right so there's our donut okay tail for the plane okay put your pencil here at the back side of the circle a ah, straight line that goes back a little bit and then curves up and to the right like an s curve look like a little s shape see that and then when we get to this end of the Let's see, I'm just checking to see. Yep, you can see it in the camera. Straight line down from the end and a straight line going this way. And we could put the little wings on the back too, I suppose, if we wanted to. I think I'm going to leave it like this though. 
another straight line like this. I'm not a pilot, but I think there's little controls on these on the back that can help steer it. Likewise, I think that's the case on the wings too. Let's put another straight line on the back of the wing and maybe, I don't know, are there several different of these flaps? I'm not sure. We can make it look however we want, can't we? It's our plane, don't it? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Out of the front of the plane, don't it? We've got, just do this, kind of a half a circle in the front to create a windshield. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to erase this part of the donut, that part of the circle, to make a windshield because I want the glass to kind of come out a little bit like that, like it's a little bubble windshield. Okay. And on the glass, I'm going to put these a couple of straight lines like this to indicate a reflection on the glass. All right. Now let's see, we're going to put a pilot in here. All right. His name is Duncan, <laughs> Duncan the pilot. So let's do this. A circle for a head. We could turn that into a, maybe he's wearing a helmet. It's a military flight, so he's wearing a helmet. And put a nose, eye, and then we'll just see like that. And you can tell that he's a pilot because he's got that glazed look in his eyes. Get it? Glazed? Glazed? Look in his eyes? Oh my! Unintended pun. 15 yards going this way. <laughs> okay, there's our pilot. And we've got the tail of the plane. It's flipping and flopping. And let's see. Down here is the ground. He's way up in the sky. Let's do this. We'll put some motion lines off the back and off the wings and when we get to our inking we'll put some puffs of smoke all right so let's see yeah let's do that let's start to ink it now it is a donut but so it wouldn't be a perfect circle so i'm going to try to make it a little bit bumpy because it's not a perfect circle it's a donut they're never perfect at least the donut part here will just kind of make bumpy so just a little wiggle when you're putting your ink pen down on the paper. And you can make it thicker in other parts, thinner in some parts. Give it some dimension. Inside. Again, a little bit of imperfectness. Okay, I think I'm going to just leave, I'm going to leave that open right there. In fact, I might not even draw this wing. I might erase that. I think I'm going to, I'm going to erase that wing. I'm not going to use it. You might ask yourself, well, why did you draw it if you're not going to use it? Well, sometimes when I'm drawing, I see something. I'm like, you know, that might look better if I just leave it out or if I change it. In this case, I am going to take it out. All right, now this I want to double up on. Do this. Two curved lines to create that the holder for the windshield and then put your little rivets here. You know what rivets are, right? It's the sound a frog makes. <laughs> All right, we got more value for your comedy dollar here on how to draw cartoons. <laughs> Rivets, a sound a frog makes. A rivet is a metal, like a metal fastener that holds the metal together. And I just had to make fun. Because that's what we do here on Corny Creek Farms, right? Now you could put him in silhouette, which would mean all black ink, or you could uh, color him. Typically I color. 
Okay, thin straight lines through the windshield. All right. Slightly curved line there for the wing. The front of the wing. Back of the wing. Flaps. And we'll just put a little line there, a little line there. Tighten that up there. Okay. <laughs> if you want, you could put, it is a plain donut, but it might have some texture. So everyone, every little, so often on your plain donut, you could put little bumps. And then when you color it, say if it's a plain donut, it'd be light brown, it'll just have some bumpiness, a little texture to it. Okay. So the tail of the plane like this and the back, the base. And I don't know if on a real plane, if the flaps would go all the way down to the bottom. This is a good idea if you're, when you're drawing, and I didn't do it this time, is to get a reference picture out. You could have mom or dad Google an airplane and just see different models, if it's a military style or a um, commercial airline, what airplanes have in their makeup on the back for that tail. Okay, for the, for the motion lines, I'm going to grab this pen. Is this the one I want? Not really, but yeah, this will work. Straight line back, straight line back. And here's what we'll do. We'll make some puffs of smoke. Watch this. A couple of curved lines like this. And then some more curved lines. See that? Just puffy curved lines. And you could even extend your motion lines from, to the back of that puff of smoke. I'm just going back and making parts of these little puffs of smoke a little thicker just to give them a little bit more dimension. Can you see what I'm doing? Thinner on the ends, thicker out there at the, at the puffy part. All right. Okay, watch again. One, two, and then just like that. And you can go back and thicken it up as, if, however you want. You don't have to do this. I just like to spend a little extra time. going supersonic speed, right? So we got puffs of smoke there at the end. Maybe just we'll give it our signature cloud like we always do. All right, I'm just kind of winging it here. <laughs> hey, that new sound effect is coming in handy today. <laughs> winging it get it oh i maybe lost some viewers on that one <laughs> i'll have to get them back somehow <laughs> just plain silly here today right okay so let's do some erasing again i'm taking that taking that wing away just wasn't doing it for me that's okay Maybe you kept it. This is a wacky vehicle. I wonder if it's aerodynamic in any way. Like, could you build this and fly it? I wonder. <laughs> okay, did I get most of the lines? I think I did. 
Oh, I just thought of something. He's got to be saying something. All right. This is going to add some fun to it. You know what? Watch this. Hmm, what am I doing? What are these? What's falling from the sky? You guessed it. It's starting to... Did you guess it? Sprinkle. <laughs> Sprinkles. See that? Look at that. It's starting to sprinkle. And so when I go to color this, I'll color all my sprinkles, different sprinkle colors, right? <laughs> we have a little bit too much fun here on Corny Creek Farm. Well, Corny Creek, you expect corniness here at Corny Creek Farms, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't be delivering on the promise. Plenty of corniness today. It's starting to sprinkle. <laughs> I hope you had fun with me today drawing our plain donut. That's the sound of a plain donut flying by, <laughs> in case you didn't know. All right, my friends, until next time, we'll get together again and draw. But then, till then, just be safe, take care, and have fun drawing. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>